हेलो स्टूडेंट्स लेट अस स्टार्ट द फोर्थ चैप्टर ऑफ आवर हिस्ट्री ऑफ क्लास नाइन दैट इज द फॉरेस्ट सोसाइटी एंड द कॉलोनिज्म कॉलोनिज्म इज द पीरियड व्हेन द यूरोपियन कंट्रीज एक्सपेंड देयर एम्पायर एंड गोस इन डिफरेंट पार्ट ऑफ द वर्ल्ड वेयर दे एस्टेब्लिश देयर कॉलोनी देयर वर टू रीजन फॉर दैट दे एस्टेब्लिश देयर कॉलोनीज फर्स्ट because of the raw material as we know the period was renaissance period industrialization was there so a lot of industries were came up and they need raw material so for that they established colonies in different part and later on when these industries produced different types of products but as for example like they produced 1000 shirts but the population of europe is 100 means the production is extra now what they need market also so in search of market and raw material these imperial nation established colonies in different part of the world like in the americas africa asia and oceania where they get their raw material from forest so how it affect the society of the forest the culture of the forest and how it affect the livelihood of these people of africa asia and new world that's what we will do in this chapter so the first we have to do is the the advantages of forest let's see that there are how many advantages of forest it improve the quality of the environment which is the major role played by forest it modify the local climate where we see a forest it helps to reduce the temperature of that area and it also attract the clouds for rainfall so this is how it helps to make that area more fertile with more moisture while there is no forest we see desert in those areas the reason is that it control soil erosion also and if we come to the economic factors of economic advantages of the forest then it provide it provide Uh, livelihood to many communities which are living in forest areas all the tribal communities with rich culture and history it support a variety of industries also because there are many industries who get their raw material from forest the forest add to the floor large quantities of leaves twigs and branches which after decomposition form the most fertile soil that is the humus as i said that it provide industries wood timber fuel wood fodder several other minor products of the great economic value also and as i had written here also that it improve the quality of environment means they also provide natural environment for wildlife yes that is much important that it is the home of wildlife if forest were not there then we cannot find found wildlife also play an important role in maintaining the life support system and it balance the ecosystem also so these all are the advantages of forest so this is how now we can see that how much forest are important for human being for earth for environment but even then why this colony can this imperial nation cut forest why we see deforestation the disappearance of the forest is referred to as deforestation this deforestation process began many centuries ago but during this imperial period means under the colonial rule it become more systematic and extensive
land to be improved. As population increased over the centuries, the demand for food went up. Peasants extended their boundaries for cultivations. They cleared forest and breaking new lands. So this is how we see a lot of destructions of forest because of the increase in population. The Britishers also directly encouraged the production of commercial crops like jute, sugar, wheat, cotton, etc., which all were the raw materials for their industries. And the demand of these crops increased in the during the especially 19th century Europe, where the food grain were needed to feed for the growing urban population, the increasing urban population of Europe, and also they need a lot of raw materials for their increasing number of industries. The colonial state thought that the forests were totally unproductive and they were considered to be the wilderness that had to be brought under the civilizations. They think that there is no use of forest. So the best thing is that to cut the forest and use that area for growing their raw material. So because of this only we see the data that in between 1882 1920 means during these 40 years 6.7 million hectare of forest were cut down. Sleepers on the tracks. As I said you that they come here for two reasons. First is the raw material, second is the market. Okay, now in India they get raw material from different parts of India. So from there raw material comes to Mumbai. From this the raw material goes to Europe. So for that they need transportation. So because of that they establish railway lines. And when their production comes this production is also distributed in different parts of India, means market through railway lines only. So for raw material and for market, their lifeline to complete their main motto is the railway. Okay, now the topics which we will do here in this part were first. Due to the high demand of oak in England, we see we see disappearing of forest and this create this created a problem of timber to supply for the Royal Navy which required it a lot for building their ship. So to get the supply of oak for the ship industries in Britishers, they start exploring the forest of India on a very ma massive scale. Means they cut Indian forest on a very massive scale and send all those wood, all those timber to England. As I said, because of the spread of the railways in the 1950s in sorry, 1850s created a new demand obviously to run locomotives would need as a fuel at that time the railways were made up of the sleepers the engine they all were made up of wood timber not only this as a railway was expanding the demand of the fuel also become very high in railways if you see that this is like a railway track they are connected with the sleepers these slippers are of wood piece. So to lay railway lines, slippers were essential so that they can hold the track together. And each track 
if you see that each mile or railway track required 760 to 200 slippers just for one mile only so now we can thought or think that how much slipper they need for 76500 kilometer network of railway track and how much tree they cut for this plantations also a this plantation also gives a lot of raw material to Britishers for their industries. Large areas of natural resources were also cleared to make the plantations of specially tea in India in the eastern part and also for the coffee. And in south we go then there is rubber plantation. They established rubber plantations to meet the Europe's growing need of these commodities. The colonial government took over the forest and gave vast areas to the European planter, plant, planters, the plantation owners at a very cheap rate. And this is how these areas were enclosed and cleared the whole forest and they grow plants in these areas of tea, coffee, rubbers etc. So because of this plantation reasons also a large part of forest were cut down. So this is how we see our topic why deforestation. Deforestation was happened because of the land to be improved for agriculture purpose. Deforestation happened because of the establishment of the transportation and deforestation was happened because of the plantation also. So this is how we complete the first part of the chapter that is the forest society and the colonialism. I hope it is clear in your mind. If it is not clear, then you can send your doubt or problem to my blog also, which is bipindogra.blogspot.in. Thank you.